Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.19 He, whose every action is free from desire and hankering for sense pleasure, having burned all fruit of desire within the fire of pure knowledge, is called a learned man, or pandit by the wise. Sar Ardvarshini In five verses, Gita 4.19-24, the subject of karma is now being explained in detail, the first beginning with the word yasya. Kama sankalpa varjitaha means devoid of the desire for the fruits of action, and samar bahaha refers to all actions that are properly instigated. Gyanagi dakta karmanam indicates those in whom the reactions to all their previous action or forbidden actions have been burned by the fire of knowledge. The fate of those who perform forbidden action as prescribed in the Gita 4.17 should be understood in this way. As explained in the previous verse, it is proper to see the action of a wise person as inaction. Similarly, it is also proper to see his forbidden action as inaction. This is congruent with the previous verse and will be explained in later verses, Gita 4.36-37. Sar Ardvarshini Prakashikariti Those who perform prescribed duties and at the same time become free from fruitive desires as well as from their forbidden acts burn up all the results of those duties in the fire of transcendental knowledge. This results from their performance of Nishkama Karma Yoga. Such exalted souls are called Gyanagni Dakta Karma, those who have burned all their karma in the fire of transcendental knowledge.